In this lesson, we're going to learn about cyber security and computer misuse. The objectives. We're going to define the term cyber security, define the term computer misuse, explore elements associated with cyber security, identify actions that constitute computer misuse, assess the impact of computer mis systems misuse on individuals, assess the impact of computer systems misuse on organizations, and finally assess the impact of computer systems misuse on government. Let's start by looking at the definition of cyber security. Cyber security is also referred to as computer security and it is used to describe the state of being protected against criminal or unauthorized use of use of electronic data or the measures taken to achieve this this protection against criminal or unauthorized use of electronic data cybersecurity protects computers programs networks data and information systems from unauthorized access, theft, and hardware and software damage. What are the elements of cyber security that we should be concerned with? Companies have an obligation to protect their data and their information from being attacked. And measures will be taken to minimize risks such as vulnerability, threats, attacks, and this is done by putting several countermeasures in place to ward off these attacks. What is computer misuse? Computer misuse is a broad category of activities where a computer is used to either improperly or illegally cause harm to somebody else or their property. Computer misuse has a broad range of categories, and these include cyberbullying, copyright infringement, data theft, denial of service attacks, transmission of viruses and malware, online identity theft, online publication of obscene materials, phishing attacks, software and music piracy, financial abuses, violation of privacy, propaganda, electronic eavesdropping, and industrial espionage. We're going to look at each one of these and see what each one of these we're first going to look at cyberbullying, which is the use of electronic communication to bully a person, typically by sending messages of an intimidating or threatening nature. Copyright infringement is the use or production of copyright protected material without the permission of the copyright holder. Data theft, the act of stealing information stored on corporate database bases, devices, and servers. The denial of service attack is an attack meant to shut down a machine or network, making it inaccessible to its intended users. Transmission of viruses and malware. And a computer virus is a type of malicious code or program which is written to alter the way a computer operates and it is designed to spread from one computer to another. Malware, which is an abbreviation for malicious software, is software that is specifically designed to disrupt, damage, or gain unauthorized access to a computer system. Another type of computer misuse is identity theft, which is the fraudulent practice of using another person's name and personal information in order to obtain credits, loans, etc. 
online publication of obscene materials refers to the printing, publishing, selling of materials that are harmful to children, which portray the commission of crimes, acts of violence, or cruelty. Phishing attacks is the use of the computer to fraudulently send emails purporting to be from reputable companies in order to induce individuals to reveal personal information such as passwords and credit card numbers. Phishing attacks also include the fraudulent practice of setting up fake websites that imitate the authentic websites and purport to be from those reputable websites in order to get individuals to reveal information that is personal and enter sensitive data. Software and music piracy. Software piracy refers to the illegal copying, distribution, or use of software, while music piracy is the large scale unauthorized duplication of recorded music with the intent to defraud the copyright holder of his or her royalties. This includes composers, lyricists, and performing artists. Computer misuse also encompasses financial abuses, which involves the controlling of an individual, in this case victim's, ability to acquire, use, and maintain financial resources. Violation of privacy is a form of computer misuse, and this is the intrusion into an individual's personal life. It includes internet privacy, data collection, workplace monitoring, and other similar means of disseminating private and confidential information. Another form of computer misuse is propaganda. This is the use of the computer for disseminating information, facts, arguments, rumors, half-truths or lies, which will influence public opinion. Electronic eavesdropping involves the act of electronically intercepting conversation without the knowledge or consent of at least one of the participants. And another form of computer misuse industrial espionage involves using the computer for spying directed towards discovering the secrets of a rival manufacturer, manufacturer or other industrial company. What we need to bear in mind with these acts of computer misuse are who are the entities impacted? So how does each form of computer misuse aforementioned affect the individual, the organization, and the government? So, a short activity for you is to explain in approximately five to seven sentences how computer misuse can impact you as an individual. State three ways that an organization can protect against cyber attacks and what impact does the computer does computer misuse have on the government.